Stop doing this. I have a camshaft cover here on the bench that's torn apart and we will go deep into that in just a second. But I wanna go over here to my board to my horrible drawing. And first of all, what I wanna do is explain so that way we're all on the same page Blow-by is combustion gases that leak past piston rings into the crankcase. Those gases create the airflow that grabs the oil mist. So you see oil mist and water vapor, but you cannot see the gases from the blow-by. So now the ECM measures the blow-by and the pressures within the system. So with that being said, this is a closed PCV system. Now this is the engine, these are all the pistons. Excellent drawing, I know it's two spec completely. So here we can see we have oil vapor as well as the combustion gases blow by. So that comes down into the crankcase, goes up into the camshaft cover, which again is identical to the one that is on the workbench. But you can see the baffling in there. Now the gases and the oil are going to go through here and the oil is going to separate to the bottom and go back into the engine. And then the gases themselves comes out to the turbo where it's then burned off into the engine. There is a crankcase sensor right there that's measuring pressure. Let's go to the camshaft cover and check this out. All right, so I've got a camshaft cover here. It's torn down, obviously. I have the PCV here. This is the diaphragm, the spring. I'm gonna go technical into how that operates and we'll have a better understanding of everything. I also wanna point out where the oil cap is. Now, when I flip this over, you can see the oil cap goes straight out, which means that there is no separation of oil and gas. And that's where this comes into play. You can see those two ports right there. That is going to actually be pulling the oil vapor into the turbocharger area where it's gonna go out. So as it goes through, that's where it's hitting all the baffling and it's supposed to drop out the oil droplets right there. Now going to the top here, this pipe goes out to the turbocharger. So it's always pulling some air through as the turbocharger is shoving air over. This is our PCV system. And there's a spring that goes right on here. I'm not gonna use this cap, but this will be completely sealed off. Now, here's how it rests. There's our diaphragm, there's our spring. So as we go down with it, there's very little gap inside there. And what's happening is the spring is pushing up while the turbo is actually trying to pull it and pull it down. So there's a constant battle right here that the diaphragm is doing to modulate how much is going out there. Now this hole right here is where the crankcase pressure sensor goes. This is attached to that whole area. So it is actually always measuring how much crankcase pressure is in there. So if you were to pull off this hose right here with it running, you likely will not see as much oil vapor as you do when you pull off right here because it's already gone through the system of separating the oil. So when you pop off this oil cap, you're actually seeing oil and not necessarily crankcase blow by. So let's go a little bit deeper on the pressures. Now, what this is allowed to see right here, this sensor is 0.1 PSI to negative 0.1 PSI. If it's out of that, it's going to set a code. What often happens when it starts to get colder is that there's condensation that builds up within this sensor. And as it sits overnight, you can go ahead and start it up. And what you'll get maybe is a P04FB. Now that code typically when it's set, means that there's either a problem with the sensor itself because it's not giving a good reading or there's actually ice buildup in there and it froze causing it to not be able to get any reading at all. Now if a P04DB code sets, that means that you were driving and these pressures exceeded 0.1 PSI to negative 0.1 PSI. Now this sensor is only able to read so much and a way to check it even tighter is to use a manometer. So what I have here is just a basic cheap manometer. And then I've got an old oil cap that I, I know it looks ghetto, but it works. And this allows me to measure crankcase pressures. So that way I can confirm if an engine does have an excessive amount of blow by, or if the sensor is actually not reading correctly.
So using the manometer will tell you a much more precise number, obviously, and mine is within specs because it's reading just over 0.1 PSI, but it's still considered 0.1 PSI when you factor in just uh, how non-precise this sensor is. Now, going off of that, um, I would like to reinforce that popping off the oil cap, while it may look horrendous, it actually is not because this sensor is extremely sensitive to anything above 0.1 PSI when you're driving or if it's frozen. So honestly, if you have an issue, this sensor is going to catch it and it's going to set the check engine light almost immediately. So don't be popping your oil cap off on your brand new vehicle or even your high mileage vehicle because that's not going to tell the whole tale. If this was helpful to you, check out some of my other videos and also check out the new podcast on the 3.0 Duramax podcast available on Spotify, Apple, as well as on the Mr. Greg Wrench YouTube channel. Till next time, see ya.